Hi, I am Dr. Diana Fleming, co-author of The Full Plate Diet, and I would like to welcome you to Full Plate Diet TV. This is our first segment, and this is going to be unedited, so please bear with me. Now, for those of you who are familiar with The Full Plate Diet, the basic concept is adding fiber-rich foods to what you already eat. So what I want to do is talk very briefly about how this works and even give you a little illustration. And there's actually a name for this principle. It's called the Water Natural Fiber Principle. Actually, we have named it the Water Natural Fiber Principle. Now, fiber-rich foods, as their name implies, naturally have fiber. And they also have a lot of water, at least 60% water. And both water and fiber don't have any calories, but both water and fiber fill you up. When you eat foods that naturally have fiber and lots of water, you feel full and you stay full longer. And that's going to help you lose weight. Now what are these foods? Fruits, vegetables, cooked beans, and cooked whole grains like oatmeal or brown rice. Now, fiber is a hot topic today. So food manufacturers are adding fiber to all kinds of things. And one of the most popular fiber-rich items out there is the fiber bar. There are all kinds of fiber bars. And I'm not, I have one here. I'm not going to show you the brand because not, I'm not here to smash anybody's fiber bar or any brands. Um, but I have looked at at least a dozen different fiber bars. And basically, they do have fiber but they're like a glorified candy bar, and they don't have much water. The average water content of a fiber bar is 2 to 3 percent. And of course, a fiber bar is a man-made food. It's not naturally a fiber-rich food like fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains are. So, you could eat a fiber bar for breakfast, and, you know, instead of a meal of fiber-rich foods. So what I've done here is, I have two glass containers, and these are supposed to imitate the stomach. Now, this is not the exact size of our stomach, so don't get hung up on that. But I just want to illustrate this principle. I put the fiber bar in a food processor. Like, you know, it looks like when you chew it. And then I put it in this jar, so here it is in your stomach. And you can see that there's not, not a lot of food here. And you could eat a fiber bar for breakfast, and you could eat a fiber bar for lunch, and you could do that every day, and you'd probably lose weight if you only ate one meal. But you can't sustain this. This does not fill you up. This does not help you feel satisfied. So this kind of approach is not sustainable for weight loss in the long run. But you could eat a breakfast that's rich in fiber, naturally fiber-rich, watery foods. Now this doesn't look very appetizing, but this is a cup of cooked oatmeal, an apple, and half an orange put in the food processor and then put in our little imitation stomach here and look at all that food. This is going to help you feel full and stay full longer. And when you do this from meal to meal, day after day, that is going to translate into sustainable weight loss. Now, am I saying that you should never have a fiber bar? No. Maybe a fiber bar is okay as an adjunct to a good meal of fiber-rich foods, fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains. Um, but I have to tell you, I said this before, well now I'm going to tell you a brand. I said this before, most fiber bars are just glorified candy bars. But I was recently introduced to a certain brand called New Foods. Um, this is a entirely natural flavor and fiber bar. And I have to tell you, this is the best fiber bar I've seen so far. If you have something better, please let me know. But this is all natural ingredients, and it gives you 12 grams of fiber. This would be a wonderful fiber bar to supplement some fiber-rich foods with, or even to finish off a fiber-rich lunch as a dessert. So, best way to get full and not to fill you up and not fill you out is to eat lots of foods that are naturally rich in fiber and water. That's the, the good old fashioned fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans. So, Grandma was right. Dr. Fleming, just a quick question Is the amount of fiber in those two bowls the same? Yes, I, f 
forgot to tell you this. <laughs> this is the same amount of fiber. This is nine grams in this one bar, and look at this pathetically empty stomach. And this is nine grams of fiber, and look at this beautifully full stomach that's going to keep you full and satisfied for hours. So this is the way to go. Naturally fiber-rich, water-rich foods. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans.